we brought 100,000 lumens in an underwater cave because this is what it would normally look like. So thanks to a few new video lights and some friends who don't mind holding them, I'm gonna show you Jackson Blue like I've never seen. Okay, we're entering the cavern and dropping our oxygen bombs. For those who are new to the channel, I've added a map just for you to give an idea of what the cave profile looks like. This isn't any kind of exploration, it's just a quick test with the new lights and to give my friend Wally an awesome view for his first time here at JB. And it's quite the view, because the section right here would normally look like this, with our only light coming from our primaries. That's a pretty big difference, huh? All right, we're preparing to head down the chimney to our max depth of 92 feet. And on the other side of this duck under is what's called the training room, aptly named because it's where the local cave instructors will test their students' skills. And near the end of this room, we'll leave the main line and take a jump into Beanie Tunnel. Believe it or not, this cave has shark teeth that are millions of years old, continuously breaking free from the limestone walls and ceiling. We suspected there might be some in this tunnel, so we went in to have a look. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see an upcoming video on the first shark tooth I ever found in an underwater cave. All right, after a quick search in Beanie Tunnel, we turn around and take a short detour through a bedding plane to meet back up with the main line. Oh, and before I get too much further into this video, I should probably make a quick admission to all my fellow light nerds out there. Yes, I know it's not really 100,000 lumens because these lights continuously dim over time as the batteries drain. But hey, I don't care about the details because to me, this is epic. I think I'm gonna carry a video light with me from now on even when I'm not shooting because honestly, it just gives a totally different perspective of these caves. Even at places like Chicken Head Rock or even at the breakdowns that we passed so many times, things become that much more interesting when they're well lit. Right here, we're passing up and over the second breakdown, continuing on to our turn point, which is the first T. From there, we'll turn around and head back, but this time without taking the beanie tunnel. And do you remember what I mentioned earlier that our lights would slowly dim as the batteries fade? Well, let me know what you think. Can you see the difference from the beginning of the dive to now? Even though it wasn't that long of a dive, it seems like they still light up the area so well. Also, in case you were wondering, that light that's hanging on my left cylinder has what's called an orb diffuser. It softens the light a bit, so it's not so harsh. All right, we're at the bottom of the chimney now, about to make our way back up to the cavern. Check out this sweet air pocket right here. It's just big enough for my helmet to fit without my camera scraping. And on this side, you might notice we're taking a little bit different route back to the entrance. It's still the same cavern, but just a different area to it. And there we are, back to natural light. We'll hang out and do our deco stops and also make some time for a very serious photo shoot. And when our deco is up, we're back to the surface. Cheers, everybody, and shout out to my friends for helping me with the lights. That was epic. 